Hey there and welcome to day 20 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're going to show you how to color correct your photos in Photoshop. It's actually incredibly easy. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're talking color correction. Now this might happen if you took your image with the wrong white balance and you need to fix that in post-production or maybe you just have an image where the colors don't seem exactly right. We're going to show you how to correct those colors in Photoshop. This exact technique will work with raw photographs as well as JPEGs. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and show you how to do it. So we're starting off with our sample image. Now this is actually a JPEG and the color isn't like super bad on this but it's a little bit on the warm side. So what we need to do first thing is we're going to go to our background layer. I want to go to filter and we're going to convert this for a smart filter. That's going to allow me to turn this off or on at any time. And you can see now we have a smart object icon here in our layers panel. Okay. Now our next step, we're going to move into the camera raw filter. And this is going to be great whether you're working with a raw photograph or in this case, this is just a JPEG. So we're going to go to filter and then down here to camera raw filter. There we go. Now, by the way, I do want to mention that if you import a raw photograph directly into Photoshop, it's going to always open with camera raw by default. So just a heads up on that. Okay. Now here we're going to go into our light section right over here. We can see this is where we just our exposure, contrast, things like that. But today we're talking about color correction. So we're going to move into color. Now for this, you can actually choose your white balances and if this is a raw photograph, you're going to get a list that says like daylight, shady, tungsten, all those things. You can actually choose from those. Now, you can also use this icon, which is called the white balance tool. The thing with this tool, let's go ahead and click there. You can now click anywhere in your image. What you want to click on is a target neutral, basically something that was actually gray in your original image. It can be like white or, you know, dark, like, you know, dark gray or really light gray, but you want it to be gray. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on this tool right here. And we can just assume that this might have been gray in our original image. Let's go ahead and click there and you're going to see it now color corrects and it makes it perfectly gray. So whatever you click on, it's going to assume that should be your target neutral. So let's happen. <laughs> let's show you what happens if I click on this red. Okay, I click on this red, it's going to try to neutralize by making my image super cyan. So you don't want to click on anything colorful, you always want to make sure you click on a target neutral. In this case, we're going to assume that's a target neutral, which would be a gray. Now, something that some photographers do, they actually carry around what's called a gray card with them. It's literally just a calibrated like, like piece of plastic card that's 18% gray and it's perfect. You can simply hold your have your subject hold that up. And then after the fact, you can get perfect white balance every single time. So if getting really important, like really nice color is important to you, I suggest carrying a gray card with you when you go out in your photo shoot. They have small portable ones and then just have your subject hold that. And then in your camera raw editor or any like Lightroom, any raw processing software, you can use this eyedropper tool and target that gray. And it's going to give you perfect color. Okay. So most of us probably are not in that situation. So we can use this tool right here. But I also want to just show you right here in your color section, there's an auto feature. And honestly, this works really, really well. I'm always surprised, but let's go ahead and click on auto. We can see it just adjusted this a little bit more. And really, this is just such nice color. And you can see it brought our color temperature down negative 20 points and it brought our tint down negative three. So it's cooling our image. You can see we have more towards blue, more towards yellow, and our tint is going to be more towards green and more towards magenta. So this auto, it analyzed the color of your entire image and color corrected for you. So whichever tool that you decide to use, if you want to use your eyedropper tool, just make sure you're clicking on a target neutral, basically something that was actually gray. But honestly, auto works really, really well. And I went through a lot of different examples using JPEGs, using raw images, and auto for me tends to work really well. So let's go ahead and hit OK. This is going to be a short tutorial because like literally that's the best way to do this in Photoshop. There are a lot of other tools like color balance and things like that. But honestly, this is the best way to do it. And it's so incredibly easy. Now, also, I do want to mention because we remember we made this a smart object earlier and we did that by going to we went to filter and then down to convert to smart filters. We did that first. And now that was able to allow us to do this as a smart filter and I have camera raw. I can just turn this off or on at any time. So we can see 
maybe before you didn't think that, hey, this image was too warm. Like maybe when we brought this image in, you were like, man, the color's fine. But here in the after, you can see the color looks a lot more natural. It looks more like a daylight setting. It, honestly, it just, our subject's skin tone looks better and the, the image as a whole looks a lot better as well. So this is a great first place to start with, just getting your color right in an image and using that camera raw filter, especially auto. I know it's like, I don't wish it was more complex, but you know, sometimes the easiest way to do thing is also the best way to do things. So that's why I wanted to show you today. So anytime you're working with a photograph where your colors are just a little bit off, whether it's a raw photograph or a JPEG, just go ahead and convert it to a smart object, go into that camera raw filter and hit auto or click on a target neutral with the sampler tool and it's gonna make a huge difference for your photographs. And that's it for today. Join us tomorrow where we're gonna show you how to color grade your images, adding interesting color to your highlights, midtones, and shadows. Thanks so much and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.